hey guys welcome back so in this one we're going to go ahead and set up our project and actually go ahead and start working on our real react native project okay so we're gonna need to create a new project of course this was just for the setup you can do an ls and you can see i just have these two projects so i'm gonna create the expense tracker project here and we're gonna be creating that using react native so we want to do npx react native in it so we want to give it the name so in our case so we are going to call this expense tracker i'm going to type it as expense tracker like this no capital letters just like this so at the end we can be able to specify which version we want to use so currently the latest version of react native is react native let me check the project we just did in a minute so let's verify here uh yes it's, it's, it's react native react native 0651 and that's the one we want to create this project with so every so whenever you're watching this course and you want, you're creating this project like you reach you reach this step here be sure to create it using 0.65.1 just so you don't get some random errors because of the version it usually happens so i'm gonna run this all right so now it's done so we can cd into our expense tracker project that is HD, so that's not gonna. Work. So we can CD into our expense tracker project, and here let's open it in a VS Code. That's where we are gonna be working for a long time, maybe days, maybe weeks. So I'm gonna close here. Now we have our project. So let me close this window just so we have only one VS Code window to work with. Okay, so let me maximize it. Make sure you guys can see everything. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be working with the integrated terminal in VS Code. So if you're in Windows, it's going to open up in PowerShell. You can switch that to to Command Prompt because Command Prompt doesn't have Command Prompt doesn't come with the permission issues like PowerShell. I'm going to be using Bash because I believe that's what comes for on Linux and Mac by default. So here we want to start the React Native Dev Server by running by running npm run start. So that's gonna go ahead and do this the react native dev server and also let's get the app to run on android and uh, i need a bash please let me close this so here we will type in npm run android all right so hopefully if we set up our environment correctly in the last sections we should be able to get this app to run on android and uh, i'm gonna be using android because i believe that's where most of us are the other day i did a poll and over 58 percent of people use windows i understand on windows people are going to be on uh, people are going to be working on android so that's where we're gonna work 